and welcome to Rando Tech Info. So today we're putting the Google Assistant up against Bixby on the Galaxy Watch 4 to see which Assistant really does it better. Now you might think Bixby would have the advantage here since the Watch 4 is a Samsung device and Bixby is Samsung's Assistant. But I tested Bixby on the Watch 4 shortly after it was released and I have to say the results were less than impressive. Hi Bixby. What's the safe cooking temperature for chicken? Do you agree to provide location data to Yelp to process requests? What? The good news is after months of waiting, Google Assistant is now available on the Watch 4, so we have another option. But is it really any better? Well kids, that's what we're here to find out. To do this, we are going to ask both assistants to perform a series of tasks. Every time an assistant handles the task better than the other, they will be awarded a point. And in the event a winner is too close to call, no point will be awarded. Once all tasks are completed, we will tally the points and see which assistant assists better. For the sake of speed and convenience, I have turned off voice activation for both assistants and will be using a combination of screen taps and the home key to activate the assistants during the test. But just know voice activation does indeed work well for both assistants and both assistants can also be set to activate using the home key or with a watch face complication. So you do have some choices. Finally, just so you know, it is possible if not probable that at some point during the test, Bixby is going to tell us that it can't complete a request because it doesn't have the right capsule. For those of you who don't know, capsules are essentially tools or plugins created by third parties that can add to Bixby's functionality and they can be downloaded from the Bixby marketplace. Now, to be honest, adding capsules is kind of a pain. It can't even be done on your watch. It has to be done on your phone and it can only be done with a Samsung phone. And most capsules aren't even compatible for use on the watch anyway, so trying to add them probably won't even help in most situations. And since most people won't take the time to download capsules because you shouldn't have to go searching through a bunch of different add-ons just to get your assistant to work properly, we aren't going to either. Both assistants will have to get the job done as is. So for the first part of the test, we're going to make a few internet searchable inquiries and see how both assistants respond. What is the safe cooking temperature for chicken? 165. What is the safe cooking temperature for chicken? That's not something I can help with yet. How do you spell precisely? Precisely is spelled P-R-E-C-I-S-E-L-Y. How do you spell precisely? That's not something I can help with yet. What is six times six? Six times six is 36. Divided by 2. 36 divided by 2 is 18. What is 6 times 6? The answer is 36. Divided by 2. The answer is 18. What is the weather today? Tonight in St. Charles, the forecast is around 65 with thunderstorms. Right now it's 68 degrees and partly cloudy. What is the weather today? Today, it is raining with thunderstorms with a high of 79 degrees and a low of 65 degrees. What is the weather on Saturday? Saturday in St. Charles, it will be mostly sunny, with a high of 80 and a low of 64. What is the weather on Saturday? On Saturday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 81 degrees and a low of 64 degrees. How old is Lewis Hamilton? Lewis Hamilton is 37 years old. How old is Lewis Hamilton? That's not something I can help with yet. Show me a picture of the moon. Check out these pictures. Show me a picture of the moon. To continue, please check your phone screen. Who stars in the movie Spaceballs? Spaceballs has a cast of more than 60 actors. Here are the first three, Mel Brooks, Rick Moranis, and John Candy. Who stars in the movie Spaceballs? There aren't any movie tickets capsules available. Next, we are going to ask some questions centered around location and Google Maps. Find a good Mexican restaurant. 
I found a few top-rated Mexican restaurants near you. Find a good Mexican restaurant. Here are some Mexican restaurants nearby. How long will it take to get to work? By car, the trip to work is 14 minutes with light traffic. How long will it take to get to work? There aren't any navigation capsules available. How far is it from here to New York City? You are 969 miles away from New York by car. How far is it from here to New York City? There aren't any navigation capsules available. How long is a flight to Finland? Flights from St. Louis to Finland leaving June 10th and coming back June 14th start at $1,305. How long is a flight to Finland? Please check your phone to continue. Now we are going to see how will both assistants handle performing tasks, and we are going to start with a task that Google Assistant on other Wear OS devices has been unable to do for years. Text Luke. All right, what's the message? Let's see if this actually works. Ready to send it? Yes. Sending your message. Text Luke. What are you texting Luke? Let's see if this actually works. Should I send it? Yes. I wasn't able to send the message. Call Rick. Calling Rick, mobile. Call Rick. Calling Rick Mobile. Call two plumbers. Calling two plumbers brewery plus arcade. Call two plumbers. That contact doesn't exist. Please check and try again. Set a reminder in one hour to bathe the dog. I'll remind you at 10.29 p.m. Set a reminder in one hour to bathe the dog. It's saved. Bathe the dog. 10.29 p.m. Schedule a meeting tomorrow at 7 a.m. What's the title? Work crap. Okay. Work crap tomorrow at 7 a.m. Do you want to save that? Yes. Schedule a meeting for tomorrow at 7 a.m. What should I name this event? Work crap. Work is scheduled at that time. Do you want to save this? Yes. It's saved. Set an alarm for tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. Tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. Set an alarm for tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. Your alarm is set. Set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes. Set a timer for five minutes. I'll start the timer for five minutes. Play Word Crimes on Spotify. Play Word Crimes on Spotify. This capsule isn't available on your watch. Open the Play Store. Opening Google Play Store.
open the Play Store. Next, we're going to try to manage some of the watch's settings, and honestly, this should be where Bixby has its biggest advantage. Let's see if this plays out. Turn on Wi-Fi. I can't change Wi-Fi yet. Turn on Wi-Fi. Turn up screen brightness. I can't change brightness yet. Turn up screen brightness. It's already set to the maximum. Turn up media volume. I can't change it yet. Turn up media volume. Media volume is already at maximum. Turn on do not disturb. I can't change do not disturb yet. Turn on do not disturb. Finally, let's have a little fun. Tell me a joke. What does a nosy pepper do? It gets jalapeno business. Tell me a joke. How do you know your truck is famous? It's a Harrison Ford. Sing me a song. Oh, um, okay. Here goes. <clears throat> I'm singing, I'm singing a song, I'm your assistant and I'm singing la 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 la. Sing me a song. I may not have pipes, but I can drop some mad rhymes. Just say rap for me. Rap for me. Enjoy this seriously silly rap. Once upon a time in a faraway land, one plucky chicken hero took a big stand. She stood on the curb, head held with pride. Let's show these crows not all birds gotta fly. Wings on her hips, our chicken stood proud. She ruffled her feathers and clucked aloud. The walk sign lit, and she hummed an ode. And that, my friends, is why the chicken crossed the road. <laughs> Okay, that was actually kind of amazing. So at the end of the day, what have we learned? As suspected, Bixby was definitely superior at controlling the watch's settings, but just about everything else, the advantage went to Google Assistant. That said, they were both able to do a fair amount of tasks. What's particularly odd is a lot of things Bixby can't do on the watch, like looking up cooking temperatures and spelling things, it can do on my S22 Ultra. It just seems really strange that Bixby isn't optimized better for the Watch 4 since it is a Samsung device. One particularly exciting result is that Wear 3.0 on the Galaxy Watch 4 seems to have finally fixed the very long-standing Google Assistant texting bug. What is odd, however, is that Bixby couldn't send the text. I say this is odd because before I downloaded Google Assistant, Bixby could send text. So I'm thinking some wires just got crossed somewhere along the way with permissions or default apps when I added Google Assistant. As for speed, both assistants seem to be able to complete tasks at a similar rate. Bixby did seem noticeably faster for a couple of tasks, but I think that is probably because I asked Google Assistant to do those tasks first. For example, Bixby did open the Play Store quite a bit faster, but that's probably because it was already running in the background because it had just been opened a few seconds earlier. Another thing we need to mention is Bixby will probably be a lot more useful to you if you have a lot of Samsung smart devices in your home. And if you have a lot of Google-driven devices throughout your home, then obviously Google Assistant is probably even more so the way to go. And finally, I think the most important thing we learned from all this, when you ask either assistant to rap or sing, they revert to their default voice. Fascinating. Well, that's all the information I have for one day. If there are some things you would like to see tested that I didn't include in this video, or if there are some things I tested you don't care about, let me know down in the comments so I can make better content you would like to see moving forward. And if you don't want to miss that content, be sure to sub to the channel. Everybody got that? As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.